We're going to talk about the actual daily harvest timeline, response, non-response, and why it's still an issue. So on June 17th, after Daily Harvest received hundreds of reports of illness from one or potentially more than one of their products, they posted this on their website saying that they are committed to customers and taking quality and safety seriously. A small number of customers have reported gastrointestinal discomfort after consuming our French lentil and leek crumbles. And the response was basically saying, hey, you're not cooking this correctly. You need to cook it correctly. But then they go on to say, if you have this product, don't consume it. Also, for your trouble of failed organs, we will give you $10 back for every bake that you purchase. June 19th update, basically, we received reports again, and we're telling consumers not to consume the product, even though we also just told consumers that you just need to cook it properly. This is where they said they launched the investigation. Mind you, the product has not been recalled yet. June 19th, they also posted this on their Instagram. They basically used this as a marketing opportunity to market their other crumble product. Seems like a good time to do that. The caption reads, update 619, an important message regarding our le French lentil plus leek crumbles. Link in bio with details. So they didn't even say what was going on. You had, you had to go to the link in their bio to read about this product that you should not be consuming. They later removed this post. On June 22nd, after 470 reports of illness, they finally issued a recall and they posted this on their Instagram, actually telling consumers that they issued a recall versus just telling them to go to a link in bio. The FDA then published the recall on June 23rd. All right, then there's a series of posts on the Daily Harvest blog saying we're testing this, we're testing that, we're working with the FDA to test ingredients. And this goes on until mid-July. In this June 27th post, they say, despite consulting with numerous experts, cooperating with the FDA's investigation, working with our supply chain and conducting extensive testing, we have not yet identified the cause. However, they're also telling people that it's only limited to this product, even though they don't know the cause yet. They continue to tell people it's only this product, again, without knowing the cause yet. July 12th, they still don't know, they just keep ruling out things. Update on July 19th, they say that they have identified terra flour as the cause of the issue. They say this ingredient is only used in their French lentil and leek crumbles, and that they are no longer sourcing from this producer who does not provide any ingredients for our 140 plus other items. But we still don't know why this is making people sick, so we're continuing our investigation. Meanwhile, the FDA says, no, we have not identified terra flower as the source of the problem because there's not enough evidence to do so. They also stated that the investigation of a particular ingredient does not mean that the ingredient or the firm that supplied the ingredient is definitively linked to the adverse events. Additionally, sharing preliminary information on the investigation may mislead consumers. So currently, we're at 329 adverse illness events reported to the FDA. 113 hospitalizations. They claim to have identified the ingredient, but have no idea how or why it'd be causing this.